Doddridge County is on a historic run that everyone in West Union is hoping will end with their first state championship. But Wheeling Central is back once again on the island and ready to play the upset role in tonight's single A championship. It's the Maroon Knights and the Bulldogs next for the class single A championship. It's a chilly night in the northern panhandle of the state of West Virginia, but the atmosphere will be electric as we play the final football game in the state for 2019. The Class Single A state championship will be decided tonight. Wailing Central Bird Knights and the Dodgers County Bulldogs set to do battle. Travis Jones along with Brad Howe will be joined by Joe Percato coming up a little later on in our pregame. Well, Doddridge County 13 and 0. What a story. They have run through the season unbeaten, playing for their first state championship since the 30s, Brad. They've been fantastic this season. I think we have all of Doddridge County here with us tonight. They're raring and ready to go. Yeah, Wheeling Central on the other hand playing for their 11th title since the year 2000. Let's look how both these teams made it to Wheeling Island Stadium, the class single A bracket. At Doddridge County defeating a very good Williamstown team for the second time this season, 27 to 13. Wheeling Central knocked off Pendleton County in the semifinals. Let's talk about Wheeling Central. They have done an outstanding job, Brad, of regrouping after losing their quarterback, Curtis McGee, and they've done it with balance offense. It's been a remarkable run for the two-time defending champions, and you said it, replacing a guy like Curtis McGee is not easy, but they've been able to do it with Jordan Waterhouse, Jalen Creighton, quarterback Jacob Ryan has been fantastic as well, so it's a next man up for Central Catholic. How about Hunter America closing in on 6,000 career yards and 73 career rushing touchdowns. He leads the attack. You can't say enough about what this young man has done, nearly 6,000 in career rushing yards and he'll give you a little bit of everything some speed some wiggle he'll run you over if he has to he gives it all last year's Kurt Warner award winner on the island for the first time in his career should be a good one tonight two evenly matched teams number one Doddridge County and the number 10 seed Wheeling Central kickoff from Wheeling coming up next No matter where you live in West Virginia, high school sports makes an impact in our communities. Each year, nearly 90,000 students compete while their family and friends cheer on their teams. MVB Bank is honored to support our student athletes and present the MVB Bank Champions Cup, awarded to the state's most successful schools. MVB Bank salutes the WVSSAC and our student athletes. MVB Bank, your most valuable bank and a corporate champion of the West Virginia Secondary School Activities Commission. MVB Bank, member FDIC. Back at Wheeling Island Stadium, opening coin toss has taken place. Doddridge County has won that toss, and Doddridge County will receive the football. Let's check in with Joe. You know, Joe, we've talked so much in our open about these explosive offenses, but this could be a defensive struggle here tonight. We've got a couple of great defenders on both sides of the ball. No question about it, Travis. In particular, you know, we've talked a lot about some of the best players in school history in terms of records for both sides. Hunter America obviously has put up tremendous numbers, but there's a couple of defensive players that have done a fine job as well. Adam Murray for Wheeling Central, over 600 career tackles, 150 of those coming this year. He's taken on a more active role on offense by need this year and has done a good job there. Griffin Deverick's on the other side for Dodgers County with an interception against Williamstown, tied the school record for interceptions. So number six for Wheeling Central, number eight for Dodgers. A couple of guys will be keeping an eye on tonight. All right, thanks a lot, Joe. Yeah, and Hunter Jenkins, how about him? He's a ball hawk, 11 interceptions on the season, had three picks in the game against East Hardy in the playoffs. Yeah, the turnovers have really been the story for Dodgers County. 13 forced turnovers in their three playoff games up to this point. And talking about Wheeling Central's offense, Jacob Ryan has stepped in the quarterback role when Curtis McGee, the senior leader, quarterback, was lost halfway through the season. Good look there at Bobby Burnside, the head coach of the Dodgers County Bulldogs. Eight seasons, 65 wins as his team in a state championship. And on the other sideline is Mike Young, the veteran head coach, 15th season, closing in on 200 wins at Wheeling Central Catholic, was just named 
the 2019 Coach of the Year and honored in the pregame here. What a remarkable trip they've had through these playoffs. Over 1,200 miles traveled, according to Coach Young, for Wheeling Central, only to finish up playing for a state title in their hometown. I mentioned the 10 seed. This is the second time in the last handful of years they've been the 10 seed. Both the 10 seed back to 2017. So been there. They'll try to do it again. Jacob Ryan on the kickoff. And that kick is going to travel on the bounce, out of bounds. Penalty marker will come down. Hunter Jenkins watches it bounce. And good starting field position for Doddridge County to get this championship game underway on the kick out of bounds from Jacob Ryan. And this should be a fun matchup here, Travis. As you mentioned, Doddridge County going for its first state title. Illegal kick out of bounds against the kicking team. He's elected to take it 25 yards from the previous spot. First down. Going for its first state title in football. And you can probably hear in the background here, we might have all of Doddridge County down just below us, and the cowbells are active early. I know Baumgartner, starting quarterback for Doddridge County. Just over 1,200 yards, 14 touchdown passes, six interceptions. He's also run for five on the season. But here comes Hunter America. Tailback number one. Closing in on 6,000 yards in his career, and he'll get the carry on first down and be spun out of bounds after a short pickup by Benny High. Good job early by the Central Catholic defense there, popping Hunter America outside and then swarming to the ball, keeping him down for just a gain of just about a yard, maybe a little bit short of a yard. These two teams met in the playoffs last year, Wheeling Central winning 47-7. to There's a look at Hunter America's senior rushing goals, over 2,000 yards at 2,800 yards and 40 touchdowns in his junior year. Here comes a penalty marker. And a false start coming up on Doddridge County. Dead ball. False start. Offense number 26. Five-yard penalty. The down remains second. Big Connor Cunningham, 6'6", 260, junior. Called on the false start. So second down and long. For Doddridge County. And Bumgardner goes to the air. Griffin Devricks, his leading receiver. 40 catches on the season, nearly 1,000 yards. And Bumgardner is looking for Hunter America on a wheel route. America has to turn defensive back to break up what was going to be an interception. Great coverage by Vinny High. Trying to get Hunter America there on the wheel route. Great recognition by America early in that route. He saw that was a potential interception, and you called it correctly. Just turned into a defensive back to prevent the interception. Third down and 14 for Doddridge County. First possession down of the game. Just underway here in the opening quarter. America's the lone back in the backfield. They'll get the carry. And he runs through defenders, stumbles out near the first down. Going to be come up about three yards short. It's a great individual effort from Hunter America. Talk about Adam Murray in the open, a two-time Huff Award winner, one of the best defensive players in the state. Great pickup on him by Dodgers County, and then Hunter America, enough juice to get through the arm tackle of Murray. 164 tackles this season alone. Roberts on the punt. And he kicks that one straight up in the air. Dodgers County needs a bounce, doesn't get it. Takes a wheeling central bounce out near midfield. So about a 10-yard punt. Once Cunningham downed it. So wheeling central and this rebuilt offense led by Jacob Ryan will go to work near midfield. There's a good look at Jacob Ryan, the 5'7", 145 pound senior, nine touchdown passes. This Wheeling Central team, their goose was cooked against Tulsa when Jacob Ryan 
hit Jalen Creighton on a 62-yard touchdown pass with seven seconds left to beat Tulsa in the opening round, 13-12. It's very rare that you would have a two-time defending champion come into a game as a Cinderella, but given that finish, that's exactly what the Maroon Knights are in this one. Ball deflected, but still caught by Jalen Creighton. And that'll be a gain of six on the play. So excellent concentration by Creighton on that deflected pass. Michael Chandler got his hand on it. Creighton pulls in his 45th catch of the season. Motion across the formation. Speed option. Line keeps it. And he'll be hit at the 44. Gain of three on the play. Ran into Simon James, the linebacker. It's a third down and short. It's a good job. A good job by Ryan there. A little indecision, but was able to be quick enough to turn it up and get those few yards to set up this third and short. A little slippery move there on Adam Burnside, the freshman. Austin Kelly, one of the defensive leaders for Doddridge County, involved on that tackle. Great quarterback run. That's a wildcat for Jordan Waterhouse, and he'll have the first down down to the 41-yard line. So they lined the wide receiver, or as a wide receiver, the quarterback, and direct snapped it right to Jordan Waterhouse. Nice play call there by Jason Ryan, the offensive coordinator, Jacob's father there. They had the movement, the different formation, and then they got all of the action going to the right side before the run back to the left. Dylan Knight on the tackle. Fresh set of downs for Wheeling Central. Now Waterhouse lines up as a receiver. Five wide. Waterhouse comes in motion. Little toss pass. Waterhouse breaks the tackle in the backfield. And will turn that into a seven-yard gain. And quarterbacks all over the country thank the developer of that play. That goes as a completed pass. That's as easy a completed pass as any quarterback will have. So you're seeing a lot of diversity from this Wheeling Central offense. A low risk pass. It's dropped. It's incomplete. And Ryan will certainly take a lot of those tonight. Ryan's back. Cranks. Fires. Double coverage. Down inside the 10-yard line. Pass broken up. Good coverage from the Bulldogs. Jared Jones running step for step. And four. Great job by Doddridge County there. Once again, a lot of movement, a lot of motion, a lot of action and window dressing to try and free the receiver deep. Doddridge County didn't bite at all. Double covered down there. Dangerous pass by Ryan. That was a good time to go for the deep pass, though, when you just had second and two, second and three. Good opportunity to take a shot downfield, try and catch Doddridge County. Waterhouse slips. He goes down on the zone, loss of a yard on the play. Trying to make the cut on the artificial surface here. Ooh, there was a hole there, wasn't there, Travis? Yep, Dodgers County gets an assist from the old turf monster. And it's fourth down. Green Central will make a change in the personnel. Vinny High will check out. Riley Watkins, a freshman, will come in. Play clock's at five. Ryan's ready on fourth and medium. Sprint out. Throws. Creighton makes the catch. First down along the sideline at the 27 and a first down. Ryan fires a strike. Boy, that was impressive. Start with the rollout by Ryan going to his non-throwing hand to the left, throwing back across his body. Had to be pinpoint right on the money on the sideline. He was, and then credit Creighton being able to make the catch, get his foot down against what was pretty good defense right there. And the 27, so Wheeling Central converts that fourth down and medium. The Maroon Knights overload, and we're going to have movement up front. Michael Chandler, the defensive end, came in the neutral zone. Again, in high school football, there does not have to be contact once you're in. The play is whistled dead. Dead ball. Encroachment. Defense number four. 
54. Five yard penalty. The down remains first. Right, five yard mark off down to the 22 yard line. Waterhouse cuts it up the center of the field. And it'll be near the lead stick. Nice job by Waterhouse there, finding a crease. He was patient, waited to see the hole develop, and slipped in there to get what he could. He's aver averaging 147 yards in the playoffs at 161 against Ritchie County. And 179 against Pendleton. Riley Watkins is the tailback. They'll get the carry. Straight up the middle. Watkins inside the 10. Spins down to the six. Five, six, one, eight freshman, but a ton of speed, and he hits the hole hard and quick. Really good blocking up front. I'm impressed on this first offensive series for Wheeling Central. A bunch of different formations, a bunch of different personnel packages. They're giving Dodgers a lot to think about here early. First and goal from the five, Wheeling Central. Nine and four on the season, trying to scoring the state championship game first. The offense averaging 27 points per game, and we're going to have a Wheeling Central called timeout. So Mike Young and his offensive staff. Jason Ryan, their offensive coordinator, upstairs in the booth next to us, wants to take a timeout and discuss this situation. First and goal, ball to you want to play in the opening quarter. Maroon Knights on the march. Scoreless, Wheeling Central have the ball first and goal. Ball at the five-yard line. Pass to Jalen Creighton. Kept this drive alive on a fourth down and five. And Brad, boy, you have to be impressed. They put a lot of pressure, Wheeling Central does, offensively on your defense. They do. And how about the balance early on? Four pass attempts, five rushes. 20 yards passing, 22 rushing. So not only the different personnel packages, they're having success with both the run and the pass. Look there at Jalen Creighton, 45th catch on the season. It's Wheeling Central. First and goal. Ball to five. Ryan hands it to Waterhouse. And he's in. Touchdown. Jordan Waterhouse sweeping around the left side. Runs it in. And Wheeling Central takes the lead. And there it is again, just great blocking. But the way and the point at which they get him the football allows him the opportunity to really pick his spots there. He's got a great view of what's happening in front of him. Waterhouse did it right there, found the crease, hit it, touchdown. Now Ryan to try to add the extra point. Creighton to hold. Ryan's kick perfectly. Splits the pipes. Well, running behind a very athletic offensive line with that zone blocking, they can get out there in space and occupy defenders. Good-looking drive from Wheeling Central after they forced Doddridge County into a three and out. Her Knights on top, 7-0. What a great start. You heard Joe talk in the open about the defenses. Doddridge giving up just six points a game. Wheeling already on it. Bulldogs will try to answer. We come back. Wheeling Central up early. Now Doddridge County needed an answer, and Hunter America in the offense delivered. 11 play, 66 yard drive. That chewed up six minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. And again, a lot of those yards were straight up the middle by America, and then obviously the touchdown from Knight. The Benny to kick off. Squib it. Picked up at the 19-yard line on the return, and Knight will end that return just shy of the 30. Riley Watkins on that return. So re-energized Doddridge County unit to try to get a stop here. Yeah, you can see the, the new life that was pumped into the Bulldogs after that touchdown, swarming to the football right there on the kickoff. 
Now keep an eye here on first down. Central Catholic averaging nine yards per first down play tonight. Yeah, very fired up defense too. Going to be overly aggressive. We'll see if Wheeling Central tries to use it against them. Little pitch toss ahead. And here comes Marlon. Turns it over the 40. Midfield. Turns on the speed. And he is pushed out of bounds at the Doddridge County 39-yard line. That was, again, good call, Travis. Good blocking here on the edge. We're going to see it. A little touch pass. Get Marling the ball on the edge. And how about the seal block there? And, again, you get blocking downfield. Huge play for Wheeling Central to grab the momentum back. Well, Jalen Creighton with the stock block. And Wheeling Central, just like that, flips the field. Watkins, short gainer, Cole James, and that's a lot of man falling on top of Jordan Waterhouse. And again, I like the play calling there by Jason Ryan. You saw the same motion that you just passed. This time you don't give it to Martin coming around the outside, but instead run the counter. So same look, same motion, different play off of it. Eight of two, second down, eight. Back to that little pitch pass forward. Marling tackled in the backfield by Connor Cunningham. Great defensive play by Cunningham. Saw the motion, saw it immediately, busted by his guy. Huge play for the Bulldogs. Third and ten, Marling also limped out after that play. And you love Cunningham's size, don't you? 6'6", 260 pounds, and he showed some athleticism there. That wasn't just size, that was quickness, getting around the block and making the play. Marling Central one for two on third down conversions, and we'll get a timeout taken by Central Catholic. That'll be their final timeout of this first half and a 14-7 lead for Wheeling Central facing a third and 11 when we come back. 6-18 to play until halftime. Dodgers County with all the momentum. Fourteen seven Wheeling Central on top by seven. The West Virginia Secondary Schools Activities Commission serves more than 86,000 students and represents 285 schools. The WBSSAC appreciates the support of MVB Bank, Farmers and Mechanics Insurance, Care Source, and Metro News. Third and 11. Big down in this first half for Wheeling Central. Dodgers County trying to get... Their second defensive stop of the football game. Wheeling Central broke the huddle quickly, and now they're ready to go. Murray is in as a fullback. They'll set up as a wing right. Ryan takes the snap. Late pressure. Cunningham can't get to him. Ryan up the sideline. First down and more. Ryan, shoulder down to the eight-yard line. Again, another big play from Ryan. You see him roll out. He's looking downfield. Everybody covered. He says, I'll take it myself. About the running downfield, directing traffic, directing his blockers. and even gives you a lower of the shoulder there to pick up the last couple of yards. Doddridge got pressure with the four down lineman, Cunningham particularly, but lost contain. First and goal from the eight. Turn. And that handoff and a good defensive play. On the hand sweep to Jordan Waterhouse. And that was Michael Chandler. End of a yard. Great job by Chandler. Shook off two blocks there to make the initial stop. Assisted by Simon James. Second down goal to go. By clock at 10 seconds. Look at Chandler's stats, 5'10", 185. A little personnel confusion there for Wheeling Central. Down to just two on the play clock here. 
Braden goes in motion, did not get the playoff in time, so that personnel substitution problem will cost Wheeling Central five yards. Dead ball, false start, offense. That penalty is declined. Dead ball, delay of game, number seven, offense. That penalty being enforced, five yards. The down remains third. Double whammy there. The second down, goal to go. Ball down marked on the 12. Ryan's been the magic man thus far for Wheeling Central. Tight trips, they motion Creighton out of that. Kind of motions back. Ryan rolls out, looks to the end zone. Everybody's covered. He's going to try to force it to Creighton, throw it over his head, incomplete. Coverage by Griffin Devers. Sorry, Travis. Basically the same play you saw on the touchdown at the other end. You had Creighton on the shorter part of the route, and you had Marling coming in behind as Ryan rolls to his right, throws in the end zone, just like four over Creighton's head. This time, though, Marling wasn't in the position to make the circus catch. A third and goal from the 12-yard line. Wheeling Central goes with a spread on the swinging gate. Rogers County confused on how to line up. Ryan rolls out. Ryan's going to run back. He's got a wall of blocking, still looking to throw, and that did not work. He'll run out at the nine. Well, he got alone there on the right side corner, and he was met by Cunningham. I think he said, well, that's not a good idea. I'm going to reverse field, go the other way. He wanted to throw it, but he couldn't get his body turned around as he was running to his left, wanting to throw back across his body. Good job by Doddridge County there, seeing the unusual formation. Yeah, it looked like maybe it was going to be a throwback screen, but there wasn't an eligible receiver back behind the lineman. So Wheeling Central will attempt a field goal. And Ryan is the kicker. He's been great on extra points. He's not made a field goal this season. I'm not sure they got that off. Flag comes down, false start, and I'm not so sure that wasn't a fake. Dead ball, all start, offense, number 21, five-yard penalty, the down remains fourth. Caleb Ratliff called on the penalty, Denny High went in motion, it kind of had the, the looks of a fake field goal perhaps. And now Wheeling Central will go for it on fourth and goal from the 14. Waterhouse motions out of the backfield. Ryan surveys. He's going to run. Open field. Tripped up at the six-yard line. A touchdown saving tackle made on the play by Doddridge County's Michael Chandler. What a play. Great recognition by Ryan. Almost as if that's what he was waiting for. Great patience. He's looking, looking. You can see the field open up in front of him. Great patience. He sees the end zone. Chandler just comes in and makes a touchdown saving tackle. Yeah, just got him by the heel as he fell down his trunk and tripped him up. Ball marked at the three. And Dodgers County dodges a bullet. 436 remaining until halftime. You're certainly disappointed if you're Wheeling Central and you didn't get points out of that drive given how that was going. But the best case scenario for them now, you've got Doddridge backed up inside its five given how well your defense has been playing. Well, Hunter Merrick is standing three yards deep in the end zone. Takes the handoff. Runs into Adam Murray at the six yard line. And he falls forward. A couple of extra yards. Gain of nearly five. The last time these teams met, Hunter America held to 98 yards rushing. He's got 85, but 15 attempts as far in this game. 
Cottage County's got three timeouts, the four minute mark. They get a chunk play here. They can maybe start thinking points before the end of the half. First, got to get the first down. America will have it out to the 11. Gain of three, and here comes a big third down and two for Doddridge County. If nothing more than to just keep the clock rolling. Yes, that's what I was just going to say. You're right in that it's big because you don't want to have to kick the ball from here and give Wheeling great field position with plenty of time left on the first half clock. Well, offensive play selection, two passes. Burnside, two carries. Knight, a carry. No, Baumgartner sacked, and the rest has been Hunter America. Fullback, Burnside gets it, stacked up. Needed two, may have gotten a yard. Leading that charge was Spencer Helms. There's nowhere to run up in there. Yeah. Michael Topher also, so Dodgers County forced to punt. Again, Wheeling Central only has a one timeout remaining. That's why that last run by Ryan was so important. Even though he didn't get in the end zone, got it deep enough in the territory, but now you should come out of here with good field position if you're Wheeling Central. And Griffin Deverick's on to punt, his first punt, and only punt of the game went 10 yards. Standing at the goal line. Here comes pressure. Takes one step, kicks it. Gets a nice roll. Marling picks it up. His side of the 49. Tackled at the Dodgers 49. Uh, Dylan Knight. Got a quick three and out for Dodgers County. And their defense called on to keep Wheeling Central off the board and keep this a seven point game going into the locker room. That's about as good as you could do it for Dodgers County there. You got the punt away, got the nice roll on the ground, and then excellent coverage to keep Marling hemmed in there. The ball's on the 49. First out of 10. And first down's been the killer here for Wheeling Central against Dodgers. Averaging close to 11 yards per first down play now. Murray's in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he will plow into Cunningham down to the 45-yard line. Gain of four. Devin Carley, Cunningham. Well, great that Murray has gotten some offensive snaps this season. He certainly deserves them after being primarily a defensive player during his career. And Travis, give him the award for best face mask oh, yeah. of the Super Six. Got the cage on the front of the helmet. And we give to Waterhouse. And we'll have it near the first down. That thing looks like Lattice. <laughs> it does look like that. So I, I like those. The Waterhouse will move the sticks down to the 39. The Dodgers fans didn't, uh, didn't agree with the spot right there. 90 seconds against Central can only stop at one time. Clock not yet a factor. Waterhouse, they fake the hand sweep. Ryan. Dumps it. Waterhouse. Along the sideline. Out of bounds. At the 31-yard line. Tackle by Simon James. Smart play there by Ryan. He was looking downfield first and didn't see what he liked. Yeah, I'm really impressed with his command of the offense. Again, I would expect that given he's the offensive coordinator's son. Coach's son there generally know how to run the offense, but he's done a great job being patient and making really good decisions. There was another one right there. Second and two, Murray will convert it. The handoff, Adam Murray. Austin Kelly. 71 seconds. Ball to the 28, first down of 10. Clock hits a minute, Wheeling Central still not a quick and pace yet. Ryan to throw. Throws a dart over the middle, pass is caught. Marling makes the catch down at the 17-yard line. 
Here's Burnside on the immediate tackle, but that's right at the lead stick. It will be a first down. Stop the clock with 43 seconds. And again, really good play design right there from Central Catholic. Three different receivers in the route. You had a short, a medium, and a deep. Ryan chose to go to the medium. And Ryan's going to spike the ball to stop the clock with 36 seconds. So Wheeling Central will value that timeout more than a first down play. Jacob Ryan so far in the first half, Travis, 9 of 12, 115 yards, one touchdown through the air. A very impressive performance from Ryan. 52% completion percentage coming in. After being thrust into the starting role. Now he lines up as a wide receiver. Waterhouse is in the Wildcat. He's going to run it. Waterhouse gets to the edge. Dodgers County looked like they had him hemmed in, but he was able to get by the defender. Michael Chandler who had a beat on him. And Waterhouse is out at the six. Well, if you're Dodgers, that's right what you want. You have two of your better defenders right there. Chandler and Dylan Knight, both with a shot at Waterhouse. He slips by both. So 30 seconds, ball at the six. And again, Wheeling Central sitting on one timeout, so they have the full playbook in which to use. And that's the challenge for Dodgers when you talk about the full playbook. You've seen a little bit of everything out of Central Catholic. Bulldog is going to take a defensive timeout. Good timeout. That's just their first timeout of the half. Dodgers got A chance for Bobby Burnside's team to and to catch their breath here defensively. And most all these guys go both ways. Be a huge answer for Wheeling Central. And for Dodgers County, seized no momentum on their first touchdown drive of the night. Then forced a punt, but Dodgers County unable to do, or a four and out. Rather, not on downs at the three-yard line, but uh, Dodgers County unable to move the fall football. Well, if you take a look at uh, Murray, saw a couple others. That used to be a central thing when they played for state championships. They would dye their hair bleach blonde. Doesn't look like everybody's all in on that plane anymore, <laughs> but there's a few of them. All right, what do you like here in this situation? Like Ryan on the outside? Like Ryan. Thank you, give him a run. Let him roll out. Row option. Motion, Marlin. Ryan rolls, throws. Murray makes the catch, touchdown. Ryan throws it up, and the senior fullback, Adam Murray. Gives Wheeling Central a big third touchdown. Again, I like the play call. Motion, movement, counteraction. They let Ryan roll back to the right. Had a couple of different options. He had Murray underneath. He had Creighton behind him. It's Murray for the touchdown. Yeah, it really put Griffin Devericks out there on an island. He was forced to pick Murray or Creighton. Which one to guard, and he couldn't do both. Murray makes the touchdown catch with 25 seconds to play until halftime. Now Cunningham again got pressure, but just could not get to Ryan. It's a big answer there by Wheeling Central. Murray gets a handshake from... Curtis McGee, the injured Wheeling Central quarterback. And see, it goes back to that previous possession that we were talking about. You didn't get any points. You came away empty if you're Wheeling Central. But by pinning Doddridge back in there, you flipped the field and were able to get that last drive there to put those that last touchdown on the board. Another look at Curtis McGee, again, verbally committed to Brown. Play wide receiver. He's injured left knee. 
first. McGee's dad, a three-year letter winner for the Pitt Panthers. He's an assistant coach for Roger Wiley at West Liberty. Wheeling Central up by 14, 25 seconds remaining. Dodgers County looking for a big return. They got a pair of timeouts. Wheeling Central just continues to reload. Four All-State players from last year's state championship team. And as the 10 seed, they have a 14-point lead on the top. Both sides of the ball, Wheeling Central doing a great job. We've talked about the diversity on offense. It's been really hard for Dodgers County to stop. And then defensively, giving up just 3.8 yards per play for this Dodgers County offense. Right, on the return, over the 25, and that return is ended in a hurry. Hunter Jenkins slammed down by Mason Smith. So 18 seconds in Dodgers County pair of timeouts, but not a lot of clock in which to use them. Griffin Devers will bring the play in. Eighteen on the clock. We're seeing Wheeling Central light in the box, drop some guys deep. Just make sure they keep everything in front of them right here. Quarterback run. Baumgartner has to reverse ground. Picks up a block, but Wheeling Central will tackle him at the 29-yard line, and that clock continues to wind. And Dodgers County may take this into the locker room. Bobby Burnside wants to get one more playoff here. Yep, we've got a timeout in. Got one he's been sitting on all year long. So 21 to 7. And a timeout taken by Bobby Burnside. Again, he's got one more, but uh, just one second remaining on the clock. Bobby Burnside, head football coach, heavily involved uh, also in the track and field program at Dodgers County that won the state championship last year. East Burnside, and there, you talked about Cole James and his discus throwing ability. That's how you throw the discus there, Trav. Right. Huh? Look at the throw shot like, put here. Throw like a dinner plate. <laughs> Uh, Dodgers County outstanding track program there in West Union. And won a state title last year down at the University of Charleston Stadium at Laidley Field. By uh, one tick remaining. They'll hand it off to Hunter America. And his first, the final carry of the first half will end at the yard line. And that will conclude the first half of play. Wheeling Central leading by a touchdown. 21-14 at the break. And the 10 seed, Maroon Knights, try to win their third consecutive state championship. Bulldogs try to race a 14-point lead. Let's check in. Downstairs, Joe has Mike Young. Thanks, Travis, here with Coach Bobby Burnside. What did you find on that drive in the second quarter where you go 11 plays, 66 yards for the touchdown? I mean, we just we got some field position. Um, we made a few blocks, and we executed. And we got to eliminate, we, we got to eliminate those penalties. Make some plays, one play at a time. Defensively, how do you tighten up? That was a big drive for Central late in the half. <sighs> we got to make some adjustments. I mean, they're using some of the weapons and exploiting some areas on our defense. Okay. Thanks, Coach. Okay. All right, Bobby Burnside, some work to do here at halftime. His team down by 14 points. We'll be back. Halftime, 14-point lead for Wheeling Central. 
21-17, halftime lead, Wheeling Central leading Doddridge County in the Class Single-A State Championship. One more half of football coming up in the 2019 football season. And we have named three champions. We'll have named three champions here at Wheeling Island Stadium. Already fall sports champions being crowned in volleyball. Also cross country and soccer so far with the West Virginia Secondary Schools Activities Commission. And it's a great opportunity for us to congratulate and tip our hats to the Mid-State Automotive. Salute to coaches, state championship winners. Katie Hamilton from St. Mary's winning golf. Holly Vaughn from Ritchie County, boys cross country. Larry Cassidy from Williamstown, girls cross country. Courtney Burns, Work County Volleyball. And Amy Mullen, the head coach of the girls soccer team at Charleston Catholic. Here's an updated look at the MVB Bank Champions Cup. Again, heading into the Super 6 weekend. Single-A boys, Charleston Catholic, Doddridge County, Ritchie County, your top three. And on the girls ranking in single-A, Williamstown, Doddridge County, Tyler Consolidated, St. Mary's, and Buffalo. Here's a look at the Farmers and Mechanics Academic Achievement team winners. Team Sport, Bridgeport, the Indians, volleyball team 4.0. Brook Girls Track 4.0, and in band, it's Pikeview, also with a 4.0 GPA. Individual winners, the athlete John Parks from Greenbrier West, Adele Thrush from Robert C. Bird, and the band Jacob Braun from Hurricane High School, Kaylee Mann from Pikeview and Community Service, John Bobber from Brook, and Morgan Turner from Clarksburg, Notre Dame. Congratulations to all of our academic achievement winners for this school year. 21-17, halftime, Wheeling Central and Doddridge County hooked up in a good one here at Wheeling Island Stadium. Back after this. Welcome back to Wheeling Island Stadium. The Maroon Knights of Wheeling Central Catholic with a 21-7 lead on Doddridge County as we are just about to open up the third quarter of play. Interesting storylines throughout Class A this year and a lot of the teams that have been very successful coming from the northern part of the state in particular in a little Kanawha Conference. Doddridge County, obviously the conference champions, reaching this level with a 13-0 record and then a number of other teams making the playoffs from that conference in Ritchie County, St. Mary's, and Williamstown all finishing in the top six. Very good year for Pendleton County. A, for the second time in four years, they advanced to the semifinal round of the playoffs. In the process, they also won their first two playoff home games in school history. Great story in Charmco. Greenbrier West gets to the playoffs, the quarterfinal round of the playoffs. They win 10 games. They do so by welcoming back Toby Harris, the initial coach of the program when they launched as a school back in 1968, had been retired for 15 years. Harris comes out of retirement and leads the Cavaliers to a 10-win season after they won just two games a year ago. And then a couple other teams that I mentioned earlier, Ritchie County continuing their resurgence with a trip to the quarterfinals, and Williamstown extending their Class A record of 20 consecutive playoff seasons. They bow out to Doddridge County in the semifinal round. A number of the schools I just mentioned well represented in the Metro News Player of the Year candidates. The Metro News Player of the Year will be announced on Thursday, and a couple of players here in this championship game are on the list. We begin our Metro News Player of the Year candidates from Class A with the all-time leading rusher at Dodgers County High School. Hunter America found the end zone 20 times in the regular season while rushing for 1,689 yards. America is joined by four more players from the Little Kanawha Conference. Parkersburg Catholic's Jeb Boyce threw for 1,572 yards and 17 touchdowns while rushing for 606 yards and seven more scores. Greenbrier West had a seven-win improvement this year thanks in large part to the play of Noah Brown. He scored 23 touchdowns in the regular season with 1,829 rushing yards. Pendleton County played their way into the Final Four for the second time in four years, and junior quarterback Isaiah Gardner was a major reason why. Gardner accounted for 2,109 yards from scrimmage in the regular season with 16 touchdowns and 14 more through the air. Williamstown senior running back Ty Moore assumed the starter's role this season and led the Yellow Jackets with 19 rushing touchdowns and 1,514 yards in the regular season. Ritchie County's resurgence was paced by the play of junior running back Trey Moss. He scored 16 rushing touchdowns in the regular season while racking up 1,455 yards in the Rebels' 10-win season. 
Two-time state champion Adam Murray of Wheeling Central Catholic scored eight touchdowns on offense, but his bigger value came on the other side of the ball. Murray led the team with 131 tackles in the regular season. 16 of those were for loss, and he had a pair of fumble recoveries. Wrapping up the list is Tyler Consolidated running back Mark Rucker. He leaves as the Silver Knights' all-time leading rusher. He counted for 31 total touchdowns and 2,240 yards from scrimmage. That's a look at the Metro News Player of the Year candidates from Class A. And once again, we will announce the winner at WVMetroNews.com on Thursday afternoon. Every Tuesday throughout the season, we have brought you the CareSource Metro News top plays, chronicling the top plays from around the state of West Virginia each week in high school football. We've already taken a look at the top plays in Class AA and Class AAA. We'll take a look at the top plays in Class A. It is time for the top plays of the year in Class A football. At number five, fancy footwork from a fantastic senior, Mark Rucker. He leaves Tyler Consolidate as the program's all-time leading rusher, 20 yards coming here in their Week 9 win over Magnolia. We like walk-off winners, and here is one at play number four. Moorefield's Addie Tamaru, 45 yards for the win in Week 2 against Pocahontas County, and it's good as time expires. The Yellow Jackets win 9-8, play three. Wheeling Central hosting Shady Side in Week 4. Central trailing by three with 35 seconds left. Curtis McGee to Jalen Creighton, 21 yards for the game winner as the Maroon Knights prevail 31-27, play two. Another last-minute winner for the Maroon Knights. Final seconds at Tulsa in round one of the playoffs. Jacob Ryan to Creighton, 61 yards as Central survives and advances, winning 13 to 12. And finally, the top play in Class A football. 100 taking on Hancock, Maryland in Week 8. Hornets trailing by four in the final seconds. Logan Norris, double tip drill pass to Martin Baker. He gets a great block from Jacob Kuhn, and Baker takes it for the game-winning touchdown. 100 takes the top honor in the Class A Metro News Top Plays. What do you ask from a friend? Trust. So Wheeling Central Catholic 24 minutes away from a third consecutive state championship. They lead 21-7 as we hit halftime. A late touchdown drive for the Maroon Knights, giving them a 14-point lead. The second half is next. Back at halftime, Wheeling Central on top 21-17. Maroon Knights got that touchdown with 157 to play in the second quarter for the two touchdown leads. We're just about ready to start the third quarter of play. Brad Howe, we saw Central Catholic's diversity in their offense. They're a tough guard. Yeah, they are, and they gave you different formations, a lot of motion, different sets, and as we talked in the pregame, this isn't one guy for Wheeling Central Catholic. It's a bunch of them. Marling, Waterhouse, Murray, Ryan, all making big plays there in the first half for the Maroon Knights. And look at their rushing totals. Led by Jacob Ryan, 48 yards. He's got 121 through the air. Adam Murray catching one of Ryan's two touchdown tosses in that first half of play. Hunter America, 98 yards rushing on 17 carries in that first half, but not a lot of help from America. There you see he's got 98 of Doddridge County's 100 yards of total offense. Yeah, and they've just done a good job Wheeling Central has of bottling him up. Just one play for Doddridge County of more than 20 yards. So you're looking for America to break one of those as you've seen him do all season and throughout his career. He just hasn't been able to do it here in the first half. Well, Wheeling Central poised to get the ball to start this third quarter of play. And a 21-7 lead. Right, to Benny to kick off. Approaches the football. Give you a squib kick. And it's got to get covered. And it's loose. Sliding in there was Ethan Turner to try to cover it. And I believe Wheeling Central got back on it. Looks like Nigel Walsh may have saved Wheeling Central Bacon there. Well, that was a heads-up play there by Walsh. That ball was taking some funny bounces there at the end, Travis. That could have been disastrous for the Maroon Knights to start the half. That golden opportunity there, just one turnover. In that first half, and that was a Dodgers County fumble. Line of the offense, set to go back to work. 
close to 180 yards of total offense. Hands it off, Marling. He breaks loose. Marling into the secondary. Just tripped up. But a big game for Wheeling Central. And again with the misdirection. Watch on the replay here. The motion that you saw both ways getting the ball. Misdirection to Marling and just straight up the field. Great touchdown saving tackle there to prevent the six points. Yeah, Jared Jones credited on the stop. Nice move in the open field there from Marling on Hunter Jenkins. But that's done formationally. The way they had the defenders going both directions, they didn't know where the ball was. Waterhouse cuts it. Across the grain. He's loose. Not contacted until he gets inside the 15-yard line. So Wheeling Central comes out of the locker room. And they are clicking on all cylinders offensively. And a good, great vision there by Waterhouse. Gets the ball in a position. I like that running play for them. He gets the ball in a position where he can see the entire offensive line, picks his spot, foot in the ground, cut it back, got upfield. That ball sits on the 11. Murray's in the backfield, number six. He gets to carry a huge hole. Murray tripped up as he gets to the three. And this drive's been a perfect example of the multiple weapons. You started with Marling, you came back with Waterhouse, both around the outside. Now, boom, you hit Murray right up the middle. Brady Zelny on the tackle. It's game nine, second down and a yard. ready. Hands the ball off. Waterhouse to the goal line just short. Not a touchdown but will be a first down for Wheeling Central. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of eye candy going on in the backfield. That's why they do a tremendous job. If you're the if you're a linebacker or a defensive back find where the ball is and who to watch with all the motion that goes on behind the line of scrimmage. I've got to read your keys and read the lineman. But it happens quickly. So first of four cracks from the goal line, and Wheeling Central will take a timeout offensively with 9.41 to play Wheeling Central in the third quarter. But the Maroon Knights try to put up what would be a very damaging fourth touchdown. The Doddridge County's comeback hopes, an offensive team that is built to round and pound. 9.41 to play third quarter. 14-point lead. Central knocking on the door when you come back. First and goal. Ball inside the one. Central fans trying to stay warm. But now the scoreboard and the direction of this game to their liking. Now Ryan is ready. Marling on a 40-yard run. Set Wheeling Central up. Waterhouse takes the hand sweep. Pure speed outside. Flag down. Waterhouse in the end zone. You see the penalty marker came down on the flank. Nice big call right here. This could, if it's on Wheeling Central, could back him up. Yep, illegal shift. So that wipes out the touchdown, but is a five-yard, only a five-yard penalty. And Mike Young gets the explanation. Not sure that he likes it, but he gets it. Illegal shift, two people in motion, number 84 and, and number three. Five-yard penalty against the offense. Still first down. Right, the ball is just outside the five. Same play. Waterhouse cutting him in the backfield. Can't corral him. And Waterhouse turns that into a massive loss, into a one-yard loss, down at the seven. 
I don't blame Wheeling Central for going right back to it as well as it worked, but credit Cunningham right there, recognizing it, bursting through the line there and forcing Waterhouse to try and change directions. Great job by Cunningham. Uh, Cunningham, Brad, he's been around about three big plays tonight, just unable to get his hands on these Wheeling Central runners. Yeah, we mentioned his size earlier, 6'6", 260, but also showing a great deal of athleticism tonight. He's a good-looking player. Just a junior. Second down and goal. Ball at the seven-yard line. Take the Waterhouse. Coming back the other way, and Marling is tackled down. Talked about reading keys, and Dylan Knight did exactly that. That's a yard loss back to the eight. He did, because that's that action that's given Doddridge County some trouble. Fake it one way, come back with the counter the other. Dylan Knight came in like a shot. Good wrap-up tackle there to get him on the ground. Third and goal from the eight-yard line. This will be a big stand here for Doddridge County. Oh, absolutely. Two downs to get it for the Maroon Knights. Look for Ryan to roll right here, Travis. They like that in these situations. There he goes. Here comes a blitz. Throws over the head of Creighton and out of bounds. So the pressure forced the throw away. And Wheeling Central will trot the field goal unit out. As Ryan, as you see, gets the tee and the jog out there. It's a big defensive series there. First and goal from inside the one for Wheeling Central. Dodgers holds them to a field goal attempt. 25-yard attempt for Ryan to try to make it a three-possession game. Right down the middle, the kick is good. And Jacob Ryan doing it all. A pair of touchdown passes in this contest. 48 yards rushing, and now scores three off his left toe. 7.58 remaining, third quarter. Central Catholic increases their lead to 24-7. to 7.58 to play. Dodgers County fans needing some excitement here. Offense set to get the ball, but now trailing by 17 points after Jacob Ryan's 25-yard attempt. This would be a good time for one of uh, Hunter America's big runs. I think we're certainly now for Dodgers County in must-score territory. America part of triple receivers back. Wheeling Central waiting the whistle. Now they break away. Deverich deep to receive. Ryan kicks it end over end. Deverich fields it off the hop. Takes it to the left. Gets the sideline. Here comes Debricks. Tackle down shy of the 40. And a good return for Debricks. It's a nice job by Debricks right there. He got lucky on that bounce. That caught him on an in-between hop. Great hands to pick it up. Breaks the tackle and then shows that speed up the sideline. Give Dodger County some good starting field position here. On the 39. Bulldogs' first possession of the third quarter. Going to go spread look out of the shotgun. Quad receivers to the bottom of your screen. And a receiver to the top. Bumgarden takes the snap. Trying to throw the screen to Hunter America. Stiff arm. America turns the corner at the 40. And he will turn it into a positive. It's going to be a gain of five. That's one of the best individual efforts on a gain of five you may see this season. Just doing anything they can to get the ball in the hands of Hunter America. That first move, getting away from two-time Huff Award winner Adam Murray was tremendous. Getting back up the field to turn that into a positive play. A gain of five. Not many times you're going to be able to stiff-arm your way out of a Murray tackle. Absolutely. About ten yards behind the line of scrimmage, Murray. 
He had that one beautifully. Pass down the line, pulled in by Hunter Jenkins. And Jenkins will turn the corner. He'll have the first down. At midfield, Mason Smith on the tackle for Wheeling Central. But Air Burnside here, Bobby Burnside <laughs> going to the air. We talked about it at halftime. Dodgers County was going to have to try to loosen up this Wheeling Central defense. Yeah, and they have right there just doing anything they can to get the ball out on the edge. Good job by Griffin Deverick's there. Out on the edge blocking to spring for the first down. So a couple of rhythm throws there for Noah Bumgarner. Throw again, down the line, this time same play, near side. And again, Hunter Jenkins will weave his way down to the 42, and it'll be a gain of seven. We talk so much about Wheeling Central's play and formations. How about this one, the nice throw in the flat. You wait on Chandler to get out in front with a key block, cut it back up the middle. I like that play call as well. Set it up beautifully. Very patient. Yak for Jenkins. Yards after catch. We're going to check on Jenkins. Good job by the official. He came up to the line, and I think we had a, a tight look at him. And you could see that after that play, I think he was feeling the effects of the hit. So great job by the uh, side judge here on the near side. Saw that and stopped the play before Dodgers County could snap another one off. So the Dodgers County training staff out to check on Hunter Jenkins after his back-to-back -back pass receptions. A look at the end of the play. Hit in the back of the head by Adam Murray and driven into the turf. And you see Jenkins get up. And he starts to get a little wobbly there after he was uh, up and moving. Again, a great job by this officiating crew, and particularly the line judge here on the near side to see Jenkins reacting after that play and allowing him to get some medical attention. He gets helped up. I haven't taken his helmet yet, so that's typically a sign that he won't return. We'll keep an eye on him. Right, second down in three, 631 to play in the third quarter. Dodgers County in a must drive here. They're doing a nice job with the passing game here. Four wide again. You would think at some point here they're setting up this to give it to Hunter America with that light box, see if he can pop one. And there it is. And America runs the short side of the field. Trey Helms makes the stop at the 25-yard line. Correction, 35, but that'll be a first down. Gain of seven. Just a simple handoff, get the ball in the hands of your best player and let him do his work. It's Hunter America over 100 yards on the night. Came in with 5,873 yards in his career, so he was searching for 6,000 during the second half. Receiver screen. And that one pulled in by Nigel Welch, and not by Walsh, but had nowhere to go. Loss of a yard on the play. Good idea. We saw that work a couple of plays ago, but Wheeling Central all over it this time in the flat. Just nowhere to go out on the edge. Drug down by Jordan Waterhouse. Loss of a yard on that play. Second down and 11. Second down and 11. Bulldogs stay spread. They're out of the shotgun. With America lined up to the right of Bumgarner. Bumgarner hit as he throws, and that pass nearly intercepted by Benny High. 
There's just great pressure right up the middle there for Wheeling Central. Forces Bumgarner to throw it before he was ready in your right high with the very nearly an interception that may have been six if he comes up with that ball. Michael Topher on the linebacker blitz that got in on Bumgarner. Right, third and 11, Doddridge County. Trying to keep this drive alive. Down by 17. Delay. America. First down. Moore. Inside the 20. He rumbles down to the 15-yard line. A gain of 21 when his team needed it the most. Tremendous play call there. What's the antidote when you're getting heavy pressure up front? Let them come, turn, hand it straight up the middle and go right up against the pressure. Yeah, Tremendous play call. Up. So exactly what Ball to 15-yard line. Flag down. And America rumbles down to the 10. We'll check the penalty. Ball the motion the initial call, so they'll wipe out a five yard gain. Illegal motion. Number one on the offense. Five yard penalty. The down remains first. Second time in this game that uh, America's been tagged on an illegal motion from the tailback position. First and 15, and these were the type of penalties Doddridge County could not overcome in the first half. Killed a couple of good-looking drives. Bumgarner going to roll out, looks for the throwback into the end zone, and the pass is caught over the shoulder catch, pulled in for the touchdown by Austin Kelly. What a great throw. Even better catch. Put the throw exactly where he had to. Bumgarner with a rollout, plants, throws it back across the field, and how about the catch here? Over the shoulder, looking up, Great throw and catch for Doddridge County. Good coverage, too, by Peyton Marling. That was just perfectly executed. And DJ Deveni is on for the point after. Kick is up. And kick is up. It's good. Doddridge County back to within 10. With still 16 plus remaining in the state championship game. So the Bulldogs again get a lift. On a touchdown pass from Bumgarner, his 15th of the season. That's a massive score. We talked about that being a must-score drive for the Bulldogs, and they did. And you're right, Travis. Just a perfect throw over the coverage and an outstanding catch. That's a hard catch. But defender right there, and then you're trying to switch your body around and look back up over through the helmet, catch the ball deep. Well done. Said that Doddridge County is going to have to complete some passes to loosen up this defense. And they certainly did on that drive. And how about Austin Kelly? Picked a fine time for his first touchdown catch of the season. He's known more for his defense. Second team All State line last year. He'll take the touchdown right there in the state title game this season. County first title game appearance in 41 years. They lost to Duval High School back in 1978. They did win the 1936 state title as West Union High School. That was back when the state championships were decided on by the sports riders. There was no postseason. And after Doddridge County, you've hung your hat on your defense all year. Can you get a stop when you need it? Squid kick. Ball's fielded going down a is Nigel Walsh. There's five offensive series here for Wheeling Central, but they've scored points on four of them. 
This would be a nice time for a stop if you're Dodgers County. Long fans that have packed the entire sideline below us. Try to encourage their defense. And a penalty marker comes in. It looks like Doddridge County may have had 12 helmets out there. Yep, they did. Illegal substitution gets the defense. Five yard penalty. The down remain first. Earlier in the game, one of the keys to success for Doddridge County all season, but in particular here in the playoffs, has been turnovers. 13 forced turnovers in just three games, but tonight they haven't been able to come up with one yet. Give to Murray up the middle, first down, carry out to the 46. Touchdown catch on the night. Just his third reception of the season. About the 46, first down. Clock closes in on 330. Ryan fakes it. He runs it. Crease. And counted off in an eight-yard quarterback run for Jacob Ryan down to the 46-yard line. Great job by Ryan there. He initially wanted to go outside for a potential option. The Doddridge County, in essence, jumped the route back there. Ryan, with great recognition, said, fine, I'll just follow, follow Murray right up through the hole here. It's a nice, quick decision there by Ryan. A good ball handle. Very much so. A lot of, we talked about, a lot of spinning in the backfield. Mr. Fakes. And Ryan, on a cold night, done a great job. Marlin, touch pass, tries to turn the corner, and cannot. Flag comes in, however. He might get a face mask there, Travis. Adam Burnside was on the scene. On the belly. Adam Burnside on the play. Adam Burnside may have gotten the face mask of Marlin. He did. No, oh, they call it on Wheeling Central. Let's take another look here. Well, there it is. They got oh, yeah. Marlin on the face Marlin mask. Marlin yeah, it's a good mask. call. Good call by the officials. That's a nice break for Doddridge County. Not only did they string it out and make a great defensive play. Personal foul. Face mask. Offense. Number two. That's a 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. Repeat second down. That's big and one of the few times we've oh, seen yeah. uh, a drive start from behind the sticks. I thought you were going to say the first time you don't get that call. No, you do not. The offensive player can do whatever they want. <laughs> yeah, you're right. To the uh, head and face area of the potential tackle. The early bird and the handoff goes to Waterhouse, and he is corralled and dropped. Michael Chandler, who's had a handful of great defensive plays, makes the tackle at the 38-yard line, 225. Wheeling Central looks at a third and 19. We've said his name a bunch there in the uh, defensive backfield. Credit Austin Kelly there as well. Chase gets the tackle, but Kelly was the one that broke in there to disrupt that action. Big third down here. Wheeling Central 2 of 5 on third down conversions. Ryan throws the go route. Creighton has a step. Creighton has the ball. Creighton to the house. Touchdown, Wheeling Central. That's just a tremendous play by Creighton. Some protection for Ryan. The go route down the route's right side. Ryan throws it up. Good coverage. Creighton just goes up and makes a play. And Griffin Devericks was right there. You can't cover that any better. Well, that hookup saved Wheeling Central's season back at Tulsa in week one of the playoffs. 
And it may have solidified a state championship for Wheeling Central. Ryan adds the extra point. Uh, third and 19. Jacob Ryan finds Creighton for the touchdown. talked all night about the play calling, the formation, the action that goes on, but sometimes players just make plays. Yeah. That was one of those cases. That was a good ball by Ryan. He put it up, gave his receiver a chance, and credit Creighton just going high in the air, making a difficult catch, then finishing it with a touchdown. 12th touchdown catch of the season. Wheeling Central extends the lead to 31 to 14. A pitch and catch. Great throw from Ryan. Boy, you have to be impressed with this young man and what he has been able to do here in the second half of the season. Been forced into the role of quarterback with the injury to Curtis McGee. And again, Travis, sometimes when you have to go to backup players, you'll see the playbook shrink. You can't do as many things when you don't have the starter in there. That's not the case with Ryan. They've got everything available. He's done a fantastic job of handling all this. Run it, can throw it. You talked about the ball handling, all the spinning and the motion. Yep, fantastic. Excellent. Ryan kickoff on a dead run. Here's a return for Jared Jones, and he'll meet resistance. And he spun down at the 32 yard line. There's big Dodgers County crowd. The air has gone out of it. Now, that was a massive play. I mean, think how close Dodgers is. One more play, you get a stop, you're getting the ball back. With a chance to close that gap. Well, the cold gets a little colder after that touchdown. The Wheeling Central. Well, Dodgers County still a quarter and a minute 46. Bumgarner, he's going to try to do his best, and he just leads the receiver out of bounds. Griffin Devricks was wide open, and Bumgarner just missed him on what could have been a quick strike score for Dodgers County. Oh, and that's what Dodgers County needed was a fast score, and it was there. Devericks had beat Creighton down the right side to throw. Just talk about a game of inches, just a few inches outside, out of bounds. Right, second down and 10. Out of the eye set, play action. Trying to set up the screen. It is pulled in by Dylan Knight. He's surrounded. And will fight his way for a positive gain of three. Third down and seven. It was a good job by Knight just to get what he could out of that. Third down and eight. Now empty out the backfield. Hunter America stays in under center. Third and eight. America will block. Pass over the middle. High throw off the deflection. Incomplete. Jared Jones, the intended target. And Dodgers County will send the punt team out. That's the right idea. That middle of the field was the place to attack. Throw just a little bit behind. Now Griffin Devericks comes on to punt. Wheeling Central goes punt safe. They have nobody back. And it's off the side of his foot. We'll take a Dodgers County roll, however. 
out of the 35-yard line. So Wheeling Central will get the ball back here with 42 seconds remaining third quarter and a chance here to really put this game away. Leading 31-14. This will stop play in Doddridge County. Going to take a timeout. Doddridge. So the first call timeout of the second half. Right, 31 14. Doddridge County, pair of timeouts as we close in on the fourth quarter. West Virginia Secondary Schools Activities Commission provides lifelong learning experiences through high school sports while enhancing their educational achievements. The West Virginia SSAC appreciates the support of Ed State Automotive, Chocolate Milk, the American Dairy Association, Mideast, Encola Insurance, and Generations Physical Therapy. Well, Brad, Wheeling Central's had an answer all night long. That's been the story. Every time sliver of momentum, the central offense has slammed the door. Yeah, they have, and I'll say the same thing I said last possession. Dodgers County just needs to get a stop. They nearly got it on the last Wheeling Central drive, but so far tonight, that's six possessions for Wheeling Central, five scores, four of them touchdowns. And again, this has not been your prototypical high-flying central offense. 27 points per game. There are 31 heading into the fourth quarter. Execution has been spot on. Ryan avoids a sack. He runs forward. Ryan to midfield. Trying to get to the near sideline, and he'll be tripped up at the 48-yard line. And right now, Dodgers County has no answer for number seven. Again, just a great individual play. Drops back. Dodgers County with some pressure. Nobody open downfield. Ryan just says, I'll tuck it take it myself. Hundred and eighty three yards through the air. Ryan now seventy three yards on the ground. After that scramble down to the Dodgers County forty seven yard line. And what will be the final play of the third quarter barring a penalty. Waterhouse takes the hand sweep. Slows in the hole. Tripped up. Austin Kelly with the defensive play. Loss of a yard. Final play of the third quarter. Wheeling Central surrenders a touchdown, but they get it right back. 31-14 heading to the fourth quarter. The Maroon Knights 12 minutes away from their 12th state title. Thirty-one fourteen heading to the fourth quarter, and the Rhines tonight doing the damage. There you see the offensive coordinator, Father Jason Rhine, and his son, Senior Jacob Rhine. Three quarters, Dad has called and son has executed. Yeah, both have been uh, stars tonight. What a neat moment for them to be able to share this together, but Jacob's just been outstanding here tonight. Here's Waterhouse on that direct snap, and that pile moves down to the 35-yard line. That'll be a gain of 13 on the Wildcat in a first down, tackled by Cole James. I talked to Jason on the way out of the booth. They're right next to us here in our broadcast location. You can tell how proud he is of Jacob. And I'm just, I continue to be impressed with what a great job he's done tonight, running it, throwing it, handling all the different formations. And you saw it on the last possession there. There was a near fumble with him and Waterhouse, but he was able to get the ball to him. He's literally done everything exactly right tonight. How about kicking? <laughs> kicking. Not about the kicking. Kickoffs, extra points. Yep. Surprised he hasn't figured out a way to hold it himself and kick it. <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> Trips out to the right. Ryan on Cork. And Creighton can't work back to it this time at the five yard line. Pass intended for Jalen Creighton. Second down and 10. And we'll look at it. Ryan a little under the on this one. It's a little too much air under the ball there. Good coverage back there by Deverick from Doddridge County. 
Ryan tonight, 11-15, 183, three touchdowns. Another 73 yards on the ground. Still has a field goal. Waterhouse takes it again. Waits for some blocking to develop. And Austin Kelly comes flying in there to ensure it doesn't develop. Right, third down and eight upcoming. Big play of the game once Stodridge County got some momentum back in the game. 24-14, the 62-yard hookup. Our last possession, Ryan to Jalen Creighton. Creighton tonight, three catches, 75 yards, and a touchdown. Waterhouse in motion. Ryan fakes it to him, looks, got a man wide open. Benny Hyde's got it. High stumbles down to the five-yard line, first and goal, Wheeling Central. Well, he's going to want that one back, isn't he? He was wide open there, could have walked into the end zone. Another great play call from Wheeling Central. We haven't seen this all night, dragging high from the tight end position across the field. Boy, he had an easy touchdown there if he could have stayed on his feet. Uh, caught it up high and just kind of tripped himself up. But if you're Wheeling Central, you will take a couple of more ticks off the clock here. Murray comes in. That's Vinny High's second catch of the night. Could not get the handoff. So good job by Ryan just to hang on to it. Not down to the four. And there's an example of what we're talking about. That could have been a fumble very easily. They are a rough exchange between Ryan and Murray. Ryan just says, all right, I'll hold on to it here. Get down, keep the ball in our possession. Second down, goal to go from the four. Ryan's got 12 completions tonight, four different receivers with multiple catches. Goes out as a receiver. Waterhouse, quarterback run, sprint to the pylon, and they'll close in. And the Bulldogs, Reese Burnside, will tackle him at the two. It'll be third and goal. Good job by Burnside there to string that out. You saw Waterhouse try and use his speed to get to the corner. Burnside didn't let him, tracked him down, and a nice ankle tackle there to get him on the ground. Third and goal. Ball on the two. Third and goal, ball at the two. A lot of dog bones on the back of those jerseys. Their helmets, rather, from Doddridge County. Typically indicate player has done something to deserve one Timeout. throughout the season. Timeout, Wheeling Central. Here's the Maroon Knights with one. 8.39 to play, Wheeling Central. Looking to cap this state championship on a third and goal from the two when we come back to Wheeling. Eight thirty-nine to play. Dodgers County cheerleaders making the trip. Huge crowd from uh, West Union tonight. A great season for that community and this team. To give to Murray, and Murray is going to be caught and dropped line of scrimmage, fourth and goal. Well, what a great time for Dodgers County's football program. We even talk about their brand new, beautiful stadium, Clyde Stansbury Stadium, now on the campus of Dodgers County High School. And we had a chance. Ritchie County, Dodgers County game on Metro News earlier this season. With, uh, our own Kyle Weeks had an opportunity to call with Joe Picado. And, just a tremendous facility now for Dodgers County Athletics. We talked to Bobby Burnside earlier, and he was just so grateful and thankful that the powers that be there in Dodgers County decided to take that money and sink it into the football program. What an advantage for them with that beautiful facility. Ryan into the end zone. Creighton touchdown and a sealer for the Maroon Knights. Back-to-back -back touchdown catches for Jalen Creighton as Jacob Ryan 
is putting a capper on an MVP performance in the state championship game. Well, and there it was again. Motion on both sides, and we see Ryan roll to the right, where he's been extremely comfortable doing that. Perfect pass, lofts it over Devericks, right in the hands of Creighton. Jacob Ryan, to attempt to point after him. Fourth touchdown toss of the night for Jacob Ryan. Now he'll try to add the extra point, and he does. So 38 points on the board. And Jacob Ryan has been a part of every single one of them tonight for Wheeling Central. Perfectly placed ball in the Maroon Knights are headed towards another title. Nearly 400 yards of total offense for Wheeling Central's tonight, Brad. Near perfect performance for this Central offense. Seven possessions, points on six of them, and the one possession they didn't get points was that drive that was stopped inside the five yard line there. So yeah, that's exactly the perfect descriptor. Near perfect performance for this Wheeling Central offense tonight. 10 plays, 65 yards, and during that timeout, Jason Ryan, the offensive coordinator and head coach of Jacob. Heading downstairs. I think he wants to get that first hug, wouldn't you say? I don't blame him. Yep. Jacob Ryan on the kickoff. Returned by Griffin Deverts. Bounces to the outside. Out to the 36-yard line. Uh, Doddridge County will have the ball. Hunter America, 126 yards as you take a look at uh, Griffin Devericks there. But the other part of that Wheeling Central offense explosion tonight is just, again, who they're doing it against. Doddridge County has been so good defensively, giving up just six points a game. I mentioned the 13 turnovers in the last three games that Doddridge has created. None tonight for the Maroon Knights. Good throw. Devericks makes the catch. Creighton immediately on him at the 38-yard line. It will spin him down. The throw just a little bit low there. They got the matchup they wanted. They got Devericks on the outside, just a one-on-one -on -one situation, but the low throw caused him to have to go down. Allowed Wheeling Central's Creighton to get up and make the play. Gain of a yard, second down and nine. off the Burnside, and Burnside, tackled by Marling and Creighton down at the Wheeling Central 33-yard line. There you go through the Bulldogs, nice little counter action there. You see the fake, they run to Burnside on the way back, big hole, he did a good job getting north-south. Longest run of the night for Reese Burnside, the junior, 857 yards rushing coming in. And you mentioned those chunk plays, just three rushes of more than 20 yards tonight for Doddridge. The throw down the line. Jones on the catch. Out at the 31. Both these teams coming in. Impressive streaks. Wheeling Central on their way to their 30th win in their last 35 games. Doddridge County, you know, outside of the losses to Wheeling Central, they have been unbeatable. 21 straight regular season games for the Bulldogs. Second down and seven. Ball to the 30. Had a week two loss to Tyler Consolidated a couple of years ago. It was their last regular season loss and went on that nice streak. Looks to Hunter America. He's going to throw it. Halfback pass and it is caught. Devericks, touchdown. So why not? Hunter America has done everything else in his high school career, and he adds his first touchdown toss of the season. I like the play call there. A little trickeration pitch to Hunter America, and he sells it nicely. 
tucked the ball there for a minute, allowed Devericks to get upfield and delivered a perfect strike for the touchdown. Now what a great career for Hunter America in its waning moments here at Wheeling Island Stadium. And the kick from Devenny is good. That's going to give Griffin Devericks not quite to a thousand yards receiving on the season, but he's right up against it. 11 touchdown catch of the season for the senior wideout, Griffin Devericks. A tough throw for Hunter America. Yeah. He was going full speed to his right, throwing back across his body. Well done. No quit in these Bulldogs. 5.45 to play. Four plays, 63 yards, two minutes off the clock. The Kurt Warner Award winner from a year ago. Fires a touchdown toss. And obviously, Travis, tonight didn't go the way Doddridge County envisioned it. But you mentioned that streak they've been on and what this program has been able to do. This group of kids will be remembered for a long time there in Doddridge County. Update, Hunter America, we have him with 126 yards rushing. He needed 127. Again, according to the numbers we got from Bobby Burnside, his career coming in for 6,000. So he's just one short as of right now. I mean, if you get to... 5,999. I think you can go back and maybe find an extra yard. I was just going to say season, that. Right? Uh, yeah, I go back to the tape <laughs> until I find that one yard to get to six. Now, Devenny to kick off. He's going to squib it. And it's touched and recovered at the 33 yard line by Jalen Creighton. Creighton's slow to get up. Took a shot from Jared Jones. And Creighton to his feet. Four catches, 77 yards, and two touchdowns. Jalen Creighton tonight, he'll stay in the ball game. Five forty one left. Waterhouse. Back at the forty one yard line. Michael Chandler. Makes the tackle for Doddridge County. Waterhouse has been a workhorse back there tonight. That's his eighteenth carry on the night. Came in averaging 7.5 yards per carry. Jordan Waterhouse, one of the juniors for Wheeling Central. I want to say that uh, it will be a rebuild. It's normally a reload for the Maroon Knights. There's some late activity, and a penalty marker comes down. Central players indicating it may be on Doddridge County. Yeah, here. Devin Farley was involved in that. Personal foul call on Doddridge County. <laughs> no extracurricular activity there after the play was dead. Dead ball. Personal foul. Defense number 76. 15 yard penalty from the end of the run. The penalty will result first down. Well, Wheeling Central is just looking here. 11 seniors. Now, key seniors at that, but just 11 seniors on this Wheeling Central roster. Beat goes on. Well, as they've shown the last couple of years, 
No disrespect to the guys that have come before, but it's really been a next man up there at that program. Ryan runs it. He'll add to his rushing total. Down to the 36. Ryan is one of the seniors, one of those 11. There'll be some holes to fill, certainly. For Wheeling Central, you know, Adam Murray's, you start there. Jalen Creighton, what a game he's played tonight. Waterhouse has it. And he'll be stopped at the 34-yard line. They'll set it down. You know, it's nearly impossible for coaches that have been fortunate enough to win multiple titles, as, as Mike Young obviously has, to compare those titles. But i got to think, when you look back at this one, given what this team has, the going on the road for three playoff wins, the last second win at Tulsa, this has to be way up the chart of most gratifying state titles for Mike Young. Central take their final timeout, 3.09 to play. Wheeling. Mike Young closing in on 200 career wins. Could accomplish it next season. 192 give him tonight with this win. 309 to play, 38-21. Wheeling Central for the second time in the last three years. Going to win a state championship as the number 10 seed. Now, the Metro News Power Poll had it right all season long. I mean, Wheeling Central, <laughs> yes. it did not matter. They did not vacate that top spot very often. Doddridge County slid in there late in the season, but I think to no one's surprise that Wheeling Central is in this situation again. You look at their losses this season. They fell at Lindsley, lost to a very good Fort Fry, Ohio team, Martins Ferry, Ohio, back-to-back -back losses, and St. Clairsville. That's the four setbacks on the year. But again, fate is a strange lady. And this season about ended at Tulsa. The opening round of the playoffs. And who knows who'd have been here. Well, Hunter America. There's a little how do you do to, to Ryan, but Ryan will pick up the first down down to the 30. Another example there for Ryan of the great hands and the ball control. Snap is a little bit high. No problem for Ryan. Snatches it. Move forward. Under three to play. Does a great job, stays in bounds. That was a smart play. You could see that he did everything he could as he was getting near the sidelines to hold up and make sure he got down in bounds. Smart play from the junior. See him right at the end, slam the yep. brakes on, say, nope, I'm not going out of bounds. And the well does best to get him out. Forward progress was stopped. Clock rolls. Close to two minutes. Waterhouse, 84 yards on the night. And his 23rd carry. He's far inside, among others, on that tackle at the 25 yard line. Clock down to 90 seconds. I'm out. Done. Well, no, we've... 
Curtis McGee checking his mentions on Twitter. He knows that it, uh, it's about to get lit. Is that the proper phrasing? I Did think you use that correctly? I, I believe. I uh, you know, got a 15-year-old son, so I'm a little dialed in there. Well, we certainly uh, wish McGee the best in his recovery. He was a lot of fun to watch. Oh, yeah all through the season, but certainly up here in Wheeling over the years, and expect him to, to get well and have a productive career there at Brown. I had a chance to see him this season, game number one, as Wheeling Central defeated Williamstown, just across town here at uh, Donna Field on the campus of Wheeling University. Kicked off the high school football season on Metro News with our first Video coverage. There's Ryan's numbers. He's going to check out of this game just shy of 300 yards. Four touchdowns passing. And there we predicted the hug from Dad. Certainly well deserved. That's a heck of a night in the biggest game of your life. Yeah, kind of thing you dream of, isn't it? Dodgers takes the time out. There's McGee. Gives Ryan the congratulations. And now yeah, there's the Golden Dome. So not a lot of people can pull that look off. These uh, Central kids, I think they've got a pretty much down pat. As you mentioned, it's every sport. Yep. See the baseball players down in Charleston? Dodgers can stop it one more time. Fourth and three. We would like to see a nice capper to Hunter America's career again. Uh, by our numbers, unofficially, we have under 6,000 in his career. So if they can get a stop here, America might get a carry or two. New quarterback. Sophomore Michael Topher. That ball is bounced to Waterhouse. And takes it to the 18 yard line, and that will move the sticks. And Wheeling Central now can kneel this clock out. And when you talk about uh, having to replace two at the quarterback position for Wheeling Central, we were watching Topher in the, in the yep. pregame warm ups. He throws a nice ball. Had some zip on it coming out of his hand, had some good touch on the deep ball. Yep, the air apparent at the quarterback position. For Wheeling Central next season. Toe for three of five, 39 yards on the season. Has a touchdown toss. So Wheeling Central winning back in 2017, defeating St. Mary's 40 to 21, denying St. Mary's back to back titles, and then a, a 44 to 15 win over Williamstown last year. Peyton Anderson has checked in for that kneel down. And the celebration begins for Wheeling Central Catholic. Another three-peat for the Maroon Knights. Repeating the feat of 2005, 6, and 7. They have done it again in 17, 18, and now in 19. It is official. Wheeling Central, class single A state champions. 38 to 21 win tonight over the top seed, Doddridge County, as Central Catholic does it again. Wins as a 10 seed. We'll have some post game reaction. Emotional celebration for Curtis McGee and Ryan and teammates. 17 point win for the Maroon Knights. Thirty-eight twenty-one. Wheeling Central wins by seventeen. Let's go downstairs to Joe Percato. 
joined here by Victoria's head coach, Mike Young. And coach, I know you have high expectations for all of your players, but Jacob Ryan comes and into Robbie this stage, 297 yards and four touchdowns. Did he exceed expectations? He exceeded our expectations, but uh, he's a competitor. He has so much heart. Not that big of a kid, but his, his heart is so big it makes him 6'5". But he had a great game and stepped it up. You just can't say enough how proud we are of him and what he accomplished today. It's a 10-point game in the fourth quarter. You're facing third and 19. You get the big touchdown from Ryan to Creighton. How similar was that route to what you ran at Tulsa to get the victory a couple weeks ago? Very identical to, uh, to the Tulsa game. And, uh, you know, we reached down in and pulled out. And it just came out. and Just, uh, just a blessing and so proud of our kids and what they did. Every championship is unique and every team is unique. The adversity that you had, with some different lineups going on the road three times in the playoffs. Does this one mean as much or more than the others? This means so much, Joe, because we had our backs against the wall. Everybody knew that. We had the odds against us. Everybody knew that. We have so much pride and tradition at Central. It's something I can't explain. You've got to have it, and these kids have it, and they believe in each other. They just played their hearts out, and I can't uh, can't praise them enough for their hard work and my assistant coaches, best coaching staff in the state of West Virginia. Lastly, the defensive effort. They got some yards, but you made them work for it. How were you able to keep everything in front of you for the most part? We knew, we knew Hunter America was a threat, and he's a heck of a runner and very aggressive and relentless. But hats off to him, his play. Wish him the best. And uh, his team played hard around him, and uh, you know it was just a great high school football game for us to beat a 13-0 team. But that just says the power of our schedule and what we were able to do and win this game tonight. Congratulations, Coach. Thanks, Joe. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, that is Mike Young, head coach of Wheeling Central Catholic State Champions once again. 461 yards of total offense on 61 plays tonight, as we talked about. Near perfect, almost perfect, let's call it perfect offensive performance for Wheeling Central. Balanced, they ran it, they throw it, and it was multiple guys. Jacob Ryan was the star, but there were a bunch of guys contributing for Wheeling Central. Another outstanding effort in a state title game. Adam Murray gets to hoist another state championship. He won a title as a 10th grader, a junior, and a senior. But Jacob Ryan tonight, 214 yards <laughs> passing. He finishes with 83 yards rushing. Wheeling Central wins the Class Single A State Championship for Brad Howe, Joe Percato, and the crew. We thank you for watching the Super 6 Weekend on Metro News.